March is National Brain Injury Awareness Month, when doctors, survivors, and traumatic brain injury experts help the public learn more about brain injury. Ready to test your awareness? Question 1. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, how many people are treated for brain injury each year in the United States? Is the answer 1,700, 17,000, 170,000, or 1,700,000? The answer is D, 1,700,000. Does that surprise you? And that doesn't even include all the people who receive a head injury but decide not to seek treatment. Question 2. Is a concussion considered a brain injury? The answer is a resounding yes. Concussion is definitely a form of brain injury. In fact, some experts are trying to have concussion called by a more accurately descriptive name, mild traumatic brain injury, or MTBI. Question 3. Which of the following is not a possible symptom of brain injury? Moodiness, loss of sexual interest, slurred speech, hallucination, difficulty doing math, inability to multitask, not recognizing your own arm, colorblindness, insomnia? Well, this was a trick question. They are all possible symptoms of brain injury. Question four. Which of the following is not an appropriate member of a brain injury treatment team? Neurologist, psychologist, physical therapist, job coach, attorney. That was another trick question. All of these professionals are important for improving the medical, psychological, and financial situation of a person with brain injury. Question 5. According to the National Center for Catastrophic Sports Injury Research, which sport is the number one cause of brain injury among female athletes in high school and college? Gymnastics, field hockey, cheerleading, soccer. The answer is cheerleading, and it's not even close. Cheerleading injuries account for about 65% of serious catastrophic injuries among high school and college female athletes. Question 6. What is the leading cause of traumatic brain injury among all age groups? Motor vehicle wrecks, falls, sports injuries, assaults? The answer is B, falls which are the cause of about 35% of all brain injuries for all age groups. Motor vehicle wrecks are the second leading cause of traumatic brain injury. Question 7. According to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, what is the approximate lifetime cost for a person surviving severe traumatic brain injury? Is it about 1 million? About 2 million? About 3 million? About 4 million? Or more than 4 million? The answer is more than 4 million. The great cost of taking care of a person with severe brain injury is one reason why it is so important to talk with a lawyer who is experienced in handling brain injury cases. You want to make sure the injured person gets all the compensation he or she is entitled to. Covering the cost can be next to impossible without financial help. Question 8. Which of the following are good ways to prevent head and brain injury, wearing a helmet while riding a bicycle, wearing a helmet while riding a motorcycle, wearing a seat belt while driving or riding in a motor vehicle, removing or securing throw rugs in a house, removing snow and ice from walkways, driveways, and outdoor steps, or all of the above. I think you probably knew that the answer would be all of the above. Preventing brain injury means being aware of potential trouble areas, taking an abundance of care to keep areas free from fall hazards, and protecting your head while engaging in high-risk activities. So how did you do on our brain injury awareness quiz? If you have more questions about traumatic brain injury, visit the dedicated page on our website. Remember, if you have questions, Henson First has answers. Stay safe.